Hey everyone, Tim here, Silver Pass Coder, and again we're doing another um, video with Free Pascal. But this one is a little bit different. We're looking at ways of becoming better programmers, and in the previous video we would have looked at um, uh, some books we can use, and now we're going to be looking at code. So we're going to be looking at some real code, real tools, um, and we're going to be using looking at a framework called um, the it's a uh, Brook. Um, framework which is used for uh, web applications, web development, you know, using Free Pascal. So um, I think the one of the important things to remember is that uh, over time programming languages, you know, evolve. So uh, techniques will therefore change and what worked 20 years ago, you know, may not be the best practice today. Uh, but one thing I can fairly say for certain is that you know learning or programming is a lifelong journey. Now, if we go back in the day, uh, you know we would buy computer magazines like Dr. Dobbs Journal. You'd have a uh, an article plus a, a listing, and you could type in the listing. And if it didn't work, well, we'd have to figure out why, and we would learn that way. So today. Um, slightly different, you know, you've got um, tools like GitHub and YouTube, but the uh, principle is largely the same. Looking at code, exploring, uh, breaking it, and you're learning by doing. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, one way then that you can, um, as we say, get better is to look at other people's code and to you know, learn from that. So here we're going to be looking at some code in the Brook framework. Um, here we go. So look, here is some <coughs> code that we can look at here. So we're going to be looking at the um, post function here. Some things which are obviously different from what we might have, might have written a few years earlier. So the first thing I notice here is that I can see a, ver a variable declaration containing an initialization here. Um, if we scroll down a bit further, this one here probably isn't new, but you know we're using the pred um, function here to get the account minus one essentially, um, and we've got a plus equals here. So uh, I know we're going to be appending a string, but um, it's a bit different to what we may have done before. And I also notice here that they're just going to be, you know, for each item, just throwing in an and at the end. And after that, they will then trim that um, those last four characters off. Otherwise, you'd have to use something like within the for loop to test if you were before the last element. And if you were before the last element, well, then you would append an and in before life goes on. The downside to that particular idea, though, is that it um, means that you are having a condition or it's something that is being checked every iteration of the loop. So this here may be a you know a better way, a faster way, a more efficient way of um, building up a string. So. It's only when you can look at somebody else's code here that you can, you know, maybe find an alternative way of doing it. Also, <coughs> it's uh, maybe, imp you know, one thing to point out that, you know, we don't need to, or you don't need to understand every line. If you just get used to the uh, structure and the style of the code, well, that can also teach you a lot. And also, if there are things in that you don't understand, then some of the books that I had mentioned in that previous video may be of help, you know, such as the Object Pascal Handbook then. So, you know, they, you know, so don't be afraid to, just because you don't understand anything, don't think you won't get anything out of it. So the uh, <coughs> next little bit then comes down to, you know, the actual doing, it's the practicing, it's the writing of code. Reading is great, you know, but um, writing code is where the real learning happens. And if you think of it like a, you know, learning to play golf, um, you can watch somebody explain in a YouTube video, you can, you know, 
Uh, they can tell you how to make your swing better. Um, you know, you can read a you know golfing magazine, but until you actually pick up the club and to try it, you won't really get better. And the you know the same thing um, applies to when it comes to programming. You have, you need to write code. You need to a you know look you know build use one of their demo programs like this particular one here is from a database demo. Or you could, you know, let's do something, you know, a bit simpler. So we're going to jump into now um, Free Pascal, or Lazarus, I should say, and we're going to um, let's say show you an old way and a new way of doing it. So, so what we're going to basically be doing here, simply um, put, is to take in a string list, and we're going to write out the contents of that string list in a single line in uppercase with the space as a separator. Pretty basic, so. Um, and the string that we're going to be writing out then is hello world. And maybe in, so here what you can see then is the, um, let's say this would be the older, more classical way of doing it, you know, when string lists maybe were first introduced here. So you can see here that I've got, um, my uh, initialization of the string happening here, my iteration through the uh, string, I've added, got an index variable here, um, from going to zero to count minus one, because, you know, string lists are zero index based. Get out the uh, an element from the string list, and then we can say something like a equals a plus b, uh, here we've got, you know, we're going to add the uppercase <coughs> um, version of that string to the sentence with, you know, L sentence equals L sentence plus uppercase of the string. Then using the same idea from what we saw in Brook, then we can delete the last one and then we can write it out to the screen. So let's see, we can bring up a terminal here and I will make that window a bit larger for us as well. Um, <coughs> Now here, you can see that yes, it prints out hello world. So we're going to look at now, well, if that's the um, older way of doing it, well, how can we implement the ideas from the Brook Free Pascal into our own code here? So we're going to go down to this um, newer um, way of doing it. So first of all, I have my initialization occurring here in the um, variable declaration block. You'll also notice now I am using, you know, plus equals here to append this string onto L sentence. I guess the other thing you could point out is, hmm, I've seen that somewhere else. Where have I seen that? Shh, don't tell anyone. And then we're going to take off the last string and we're going to write it out. And you can see here when we ran it, it prints out the same thing. So I guess the differences between, you know, this version and this version here, we could say that looks a little bit more classical. That's a little bit more modern, a little bit more concise even. Um, at the end of the day, this, you know, I could say that this version here the, the modern version just looks a little bit more elegant than the older version. Not that there's anything wrong with that, you know, but um, you can see between these two versions of code how the language has, you know, evolved. Now, this is just a, you know, a somewhat of a simple example here to demonstrate, you know, the um, some of these concepts. You could uh, write, you know, in the, you know, put this into practice by writing a utility program that will help you in your day-to-day uh, -day life, either as a developer or maybe something at home. Or another way you could, you know, put these changes into effect is to modify some of your existing code. I'm not saying do the whole, all your code, but some of the code to help to reinforce, you know, the um, ideas that you have picked up by looking at the code, you know, from also, if you are using Free Pascal and you know you've got the source code to Free Pascal, have a look at that code, see how they do things, and that you'll have get a good idea then of you know 
um, what you can do or what you can't do, what you can get away with. Now, one of the things here, by the way, is if I, now if I do take out all of this code here, and I am going to now do um, Control C and Control Shift and C to auto complete here. And that's there, and we need L sentence here as well. Let's say, well, can I do um, something like that? Can I initialize a string? Well, let's try out and see what happens. So let's go to the run menu. We, we try and build it now, and it says, well, okay, we're getting an error. Only one variable can be initialized. <clears throat> okay, so I now find out that, well, I need, need to make that into its own string and um, go like that. Don't be afraid of testing the code to explore the uh, limits of what's possible or what's not possible. By doing that, you get to understand the nuances or what the what is allowed or not allowed in the language. To use the debugger to step through the code, um, to set breakpoints, and to see what the effect is. So um, that's you know another little you know tip or trick that you can use. So the um, once you've put some of this stuff into practice, the next thing you could possibly do or think about doing is to tell somebody what you've learned. Um, if you are in a development shop where you've got you know other free Pascal programmers, or maybe you want to put something onto a forum, uh, just to tell somebody else you know what you have you know what you've picked up by looking at this other code. Then the other person who you know who hears or to see what you've done, they may tell you, hey, and did you know that you know you can also do this? Sharing knowledge can be um, powerful when it comes to you know learning how to program. But now let's have a let's do a recap of this particular video. So the first thing we looked at is well, looking at other people's code to you know learn how to program. Once we've got those ideas, and even if we don't understand it all, let's put into practice some of the things that we've you know we've read or seen. Also, then to uh, to test the limits. Don't be afraid of your program not building or compiling or if it does crash when it is running, you know that's not going to be the end of the world. Um, to then also to um, apply what you've learnt into your own software or in a utility program if you don't have that first thing to apply, and then lastly to um, to teach what to you know to teach what you've learnt to help to reinforce those um, those new ideas. Now these particular tips, are, you know, don't really, um, or they don't apply just to free Pascal. They apply to programming in general. So if this video has helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You know, many more videos coming. Um, and thank you for watching. As always, keep coding. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye.